Dear colleagues, as President of CODATA, the Committee on Data for Science and Technology, an interdisciplinary body of the Internet Council for Science, ICSO, I'd like to congratulate the Royal Society on today's launch of its report. Science as an open enterprise, open data for open science. Over the last five centuries, the quantitative measurement of natural phenomena, materials, and processes has played a critical role in the evolution of scientific understanding. For example, the data from Tycho Brahe astronomical observations led to Kepler's solar system model. Galileo's measurements of particular swings were important in the development of Newtonian mechanics. And uh, more recently, the global exchange of weather data has been the foundation for weather and climate prediction. In short, Sun could not have advanced to its present state if the data from each generation had not been preserved and made open, accessible, and useful for subsequent generations. In the 1960s, leading scientists realized new scientific methods were generating larger volume experimental and observational data and new scientific data challenges. Data management, data accuracy, data access issues were developing alongside these changes. The need for constantly international effort to highlight these issues were a key reason why CODATA was created. For example, CODATA's work in the area of fundamental constant, its interaction with policymakers at the World Summit of Information Society, its current work on promoting data sharing with the global observation system are just some samples of its activities. Fifty years later, in this new medium, the volume of scientific data being generated continue to increase exponentially, along with sophisticated new tools for their automated generation integration and analysis. The commitment and the support of governments and international organizations to create, promote, and sustain trust data repositories and open data environment are essential to turn this information expression into a positive force for the future. This data environment must have and its foundation the elements of openness, accessibility, and usability. Meeting this requirement is critical to preservation of data and ensuring that they are useful in the future to support science and informing policy and decision making. Such an open data environment is even more important because of new ways of doing science, computational and communication technology, as highlighted in the Royal Society report. This data-led science is indeed a promising new source of knowledge. Codata welcome the report and its timely recommendations, in particular the importance of cooperation from industry and uh, regulators in sharing data that are in the public interest and the government recognition of potential of open data to enhance science. At the start of this message, I said, science could not have advanced to its present state if data from each generation had not been preserved and made open, accessible, and useful for subsequent generations. As I close this message, my wish is twofold. First, I hope that scientific advancement will continue to build on the legacy of scientific data and information that we and our predecessors have worked to preserve, suggest, and expand. And second, that individual scientists, international organizations, and governments will work together to force openness, accessibility, and the usability of the data. Today's data will become the foundation of the products and processes of tomorrow. In recognition of exemplary effort that went into producing this report, I want to thank the chair of the working group, Professor Jeffrey Bolton, and his team. Codata is especially honored that Professor Bolton will be joining us as a keynote speaker this October in Taipei at the 2012 Codata Conference. Absolutely, same. 
open data and information for change planning. Again, a contributor to the society, the Codata looked forward to supporting and contributing the implementation of the recommendations of this report. Thank you very much.